Picture this, wind in your hair, the rhythmic hum of the engine, and the freedom to explore untouched landscapes. As we rev up our engines, get ready to witness breathtaking rice terraces, meandering rivers, and lush green forests that stretch as far as the eye can see. Come with us on our journey from Hoi An, Vietnam, to My Son Sanctuary, where ancient mysteries and vibrant cultures intertwine. Vietnam's countryside is a visual masterpiece, a kaleidoscope of colors and textures that will leave you spellbound. From the breathtaking rice fields to the traditional Vietnamese villages, every twist and turn of the roads holds a surprise, inviting you to dive deeper into the country's rich cultural tapestry. It's not just the scenery that makes this journey unforgettable, it's the warm and welcoming people we meet along the way. We had a chance to immerse ourselves in the local Vietnamese cuisine, share some laughter and break through the language barrier as we had lunch at a small village restaurant along the way. We stopped at this little uh, restaurant here in Vietnam on the roadside of just this little road next to some rice fields, very local restaurant. But there were a lot of people that all waved at us and said hi when we drove by, so we decided to stop here for lunch. Uh, it's a lively crowd, and it's like, I don't know, maybe like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, they This is new to me. They serve these, like, rice things, uh, crackers, with some sauce. And it's kind of a spicy sauce, but it's really tasty. I guess that's their version of chips and salsa. I have gotten the seafood and fried noodles platter. I wanted the snail, but I was told there was no snails to be had today. So um, we both got the same thing. It looks really good. It's got some fresh uh, mint up here, some little shrimp, and then the squid, and the noodles, some onions, I think. Looks really delicious, and the kid that served us was so nice. He gave us forks because we have not yet mastered the art of chopsticks, so give it a try here. Squid in there. Yum! That is really good. It doesn't have the chewy texture of the squid that I've had in Thailand. It tastes really fresh, um, and I think we made a good choice. Here we are on a little roadside, on a little roadside restaurant in Vietnam. We were just motorcycling around, and uh, this place looked great. So we stopped in, and a whole bunch of really cool, happy, and I think drunk people here. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we basically we ordered some things on the menu, and then they kind of told us that they only had really had one thing, which was seafood and fried noodles. So that's what we got, and. I, I can't complain. Let me see how it tastes. Mm. That's really good. It tastes a little bit kind of like ramen noodles, but way better. And uh, just some nice oil on it. A lot of good veggies in there. Just a really good stir fry. I see shrimp and squid. Maybe there's some more surprises in there. But uh, anyway, this is going to be delicious and uh, really cool to go this local. It's not a big restaurant. It doesn't even have four walls. 
just an open air local place in Vietnam and uh, the real deal. After we finished our lunch, we got back on the motorbike and headed out to the My Son Sanctuary Ruins. The feeling of freedom and adventure that comes with riding a motorbike in Vietnam is unbeatable. Well, Emily and I just did a about two hour motorcycle ride through the rice fields and small villages of Vietnam. It was spectacular. It is super hot out here, but uh, beautiful. And we just got to Mai San uh, Sanctuary, which is a old ancient um, worship area. There's ruins here from a long lost civilization and uh, I'm going to learn more about it and check it out. Excited. Nestled in the heart of central Vietnam, amidst the dense forests and rolling hills, lies an ancient marvel that whispers tales of a bygone era, My Son Sanctuary. Before we dive into the secrets of My Son, let's rewind the clock over a millennium. Imagine yourself in the 4th century when the mighty Champa civilization ruled the lands. My Son was the spiritual and political center, a place where kings were crowned and gods were worshipped. These awe-inspiring ruins are the remnants of the once magnificent temples and towers dedicated to Hindu deities. My son was actually a bustling hub of religious and cultural significance for over a thousand years. As you wander through the intricate brickwork and intricate carvings, you can't help but appreciate the sheer craftsmanship and architectural brilliance of the Cham people. Their ingenuity is evident in every meticulously placed stone, telling stories of a civilization that flourished against all odds. We are standing in a really, really old building. Pretty crazy. It's raining, but it doesn't have a roof. So my fellow adventurers, are you ready to embark on this epic motorbike journey through Vietnam's captivating countryside? If you're seeking an extraordinary experience that will leave you craving more, look no further. Embrace today, and we'll see you on the road. In the meantime, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and join us for this exhilarating ride.